This would be a chuckwalla. This is the biggest lizard out here in the desert. They can get upwards of a foot and a half if you include the tail. Um, this is a, an average size one. Like I said, they can get bigger than this. He's not a juvenile or anything, but um, they can get bigger than this. The juveniles have a really colorful tail. This one doesn't. Um, you can see there's at one time possible colors. You can kind of see some yellow and green in there. But these lizards, like I said, biggest lizard in the desert. Very, very chunky lizard. Basically, when you see these lizards, they get scared and they run out into the rock crevices. And usually you have no problem touching them. You just can't ever get them out because they end up going into the rock crevice and they've got an extra fold of skin that they basically blow up and it allows friction on the rock and you cannot get them out. They'll just grab and blow up inside the rock crevice. You can't get them out. Uh, this one was out foraging for some uh, plant material, crease up bushes, snuck up on him, got him to go into a rock crevice that he didn't uh, really fit into that well and I was able to pull him out, um, which is usually a rarity because like I said, they're usually very good at digging into the rock crevices, blowing up, puffing up, and you can't get them out. So this is uh, another iguana species. They have the uh, desert iguana out here, but this is a rock iguana in the rock iguana family. The chuckwalla, very, very stout lizard. Um, when I first got him, he uh, kind of, you know, made a huffing noise, but that was about it. Didn't try to bite or anything. The Indians out here back in the day used to make a, a tool. Basically, it was a a long stick with a curved bone at the end that they would basically just once they found the the chuck wall in the in the rock crevice they'd use the bone in and just puncture the lizard and end up deflating them and easily pulling them out and and supposedly they uh, were quite good but obviously I'm not gonna eat this lizard um, I go home and have some chicken or something like I said these uh, lizards are, are um, feed on the plant material um, they like the creosote flowers, and right now the creosote bushes are having little yellow flowers, so definitely see them out right now. Um, they are pretty strictly diurnal. They'll be out during the day. That's where you'll find them. You won't find them at night. They'll tuck in uh, into the rocks and go deep in the rocks, and you'll never see them. The only predator that this lizard probably has are mammals. Um, coyotes, foxes, um, may I don't know if bobcats would eat them or not, but... Um, that's about it. There's there's not really a snake out here big enough to get an adult. Um, and uh, no other lizard's gonna be able to eat this lizard. It's just way, way too big. I mean, look how, look how uh, puffed up he is, how, how big this lizard can get. Well, that was easy. These are my favorite lizards. These horn lizards are so cool looking. Look at that guy. Look how cute and pretty he is. Oh, I love horn lizards. Look how cool. I mean, are they not just a different looking lizard? I mean, look at that. Nice big old round, soft stomach. What are you doing, buddy? Just hanging out? They are so chill. I mean, you saw how easy that was to catch. I wish all the lizards were out here this, that are that, are that easy to catch. My goodness, man. Most of the stuff you see it and oh, oh, it's 50 yards away, you know? This guy, they are so chill. They are so, so cool. Laid back. This is a, this is more of a, this should be a beach goer. Like, hey, what's up, dude? You know? So laid back. Hey, buddy. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. These uh, horn lizard, lizards will typically grow to about three to five inches. If uh, if you uh, um, go from uh, stout, snout to to vent, if you include the tail, they can be around six to eight inches. Maybe may not quite that big, maybe six seven inches. Um, for defense, these lizards uh, can squirt blood from their eyes. They rarely do that. These ones rarely do that. Their best defense is their body shape. The horns on their head and how wide and flat they can they can get their body. I've actually seen where a snake was trying to eat the, uh, um, a horn toad 
got most of it swallowed but couldn't get past the, the horns and, and, and the head and had to regurgitate it out and the lizard ended up surviving. So this is the best defense of the lizard is the lizard itself because they're not a fast lizard as you saw, um, very lax. These guys are strictly di diurnal, will come out when temperatures um, are a little cooler and maybe in the evening time and, and do some feeding on uh, some ants and, and other insects, primarily ants though. This is a yellow spiny lizard. These guys will grow to about five to six inches from nose to vent, but you know, can be about probably close to 10 inches if you include the tail. Very colorful lizard. Um, found him, in, or found her actually, the males. The males will have bright, oh shoot. So as I was saying, the males will have blue on their belly. I know it's kind of hard to see here and I don't want to let her go again. There. We'll have blue on the belly. Females will not. So I know she's a female. And also I don't want to get my hand too close to her face because they will bite and bite pretty good. These lizards are pretty much diurnal and we'll eat uh, insects and spiders and scorpions and centipedes, um, some plant material occasionally. We'll eat uh, smaller lizards as well, probably younger younger lizards. Um, I mean, they're they're a pretty they're a decent sized lizard. Uh, stuff that would eat them would consist of primarily snakes, maybe some uh, birds of prey. Um, occasional other lizards might eat them while they're when they're really young, but pretty much snakes is going to be the ones that will eat these. Say hello. I happened to see a, a whiptail lizard go into a bush and looked in the bush and here she was. Um, but you know they will also get up into the, the rock crevices and kind of do like a, a, the chuck walls do. Kind of inflate themselves almost and, and push up against the rocks and, and be able to hide in there and use friction and, and really grab onto the rocks so you can't pull them out. So the spiny lizard, spi yellow spiny lizard, large, very large scales, very, very large scales you can see. Found this gecko, this western banded gecko just crawling out on the road. Um, knew it was a lizard right away, but I didn't know what kind of lizard. And the way that he was kind of running around, it, I figured, ah, this is something different. Either it's hurt or, like I said, something different, and sure enough. Western banded gecko. These guys are awesome. I love these guys. They are so cool. I actually was not aware that they're, they were found in this area of, of where I'm at in the Mojave Desert, but evidently they are. I don't know too much about them. I know they grow to about four or six inches. These guys are nocturnal will uh, hide during the day and come out at night when temperatures are cooler. They'll feed on insects and spiders and maybe little uh, or, um, scorpions, but mostly insects. These lizards have to watch out because they're pretty much prey for about everything out here because they're one of the smaller lizards and they're really not that fast. But very, very pretty lizard. Geckos are one of my favorite lizards, so this is a very, very neat find. Try to show you his colors here. Isn't he pretty?